Hi everyone, my name is Akasha from Divine and Magic. So I'm going to talk to you about why I chose the Sequoia stove from Canvas Camp. So it's a five kilowatt stove. So one, it's really fucking hot. When you get in your tent and you put it on, it's just super nice. Like in about 20 minutes, you're guaranteed you're just warm and just like super cozy, even if it's cold outside. Um, to, um, it was the biggest one that they had, so that's why I got it. <laughs> uh, the flu, I had an upright flu um, as opposed to one coming straight out the back, outside the tent, and then the flu coming out, uh, up outside the tent. Um, I decided to go for that because I didn't want any um, blockages in the pipe, and I thought that the, the draw on the flu would be much better if it was pointing upwards. So um, I haven't had an experience with one that goes out uh, so from the back and then up at an angle outside, so I couldn't comment upon that. But um, if I was to do it again, I'd still choose the upright flue. You could think that it was going to leak, but it didn't at all. It was really brilliant that way. Um, only thing I had to do was get um, to make sure to seal around with... Um, that product, I can't remember what it's called, DIY, uh, so you know what, the one I got was one you use on boats to keep them waterproof, so the silicon, that's it, so the silicon around the edge of the plate that you put upon the canvas, so once that was in I had no leakages, even though I was really dumb and I cut the hole too big for the flue and the washer, so it's pretty good. You would think that there'd be much more leakage, but because you have the stove on, it just evaporates the water. And then when I wasn't using the stove or I wasn't in the tent, which was quite rare, um, I would put the bucket on a bucket on top, of course, making sure it's cold, but pretty good. Uh, next point. So, uh, yeah, the wood I used. So here um, in where I'm living, it's easy accessible to have uh, oak wood and chestnut yeah so the stove came with um, was well, so you buy the stove and then it comes with a set of equipment to set it up so you get the flue the washer with the plate that you put on the canvas and um, legs for the box a little window that you have to add in um, so I think it slides down if I can remember correctly and then the legs and then this sort of um, metal plate that you put underneath so I did notice that when I was burning stuff often it would spark out and then you know be pretty dodgy and I was <laughs> not wanting to create a fire but um, overall it was fine I did buy a mat so that you know to avoid um, well I had a carpet over the bottom of my tent and then I had a mat over uh, the fire area just because I didn't want it to burn through because um, that did happen once <laughs> so that's it um, anything else um, yeah so the other uh, the advantages of having the fire so you can boil water you can cook really easy so I was doing loads of sort of stews and soups and uh, what I really liked was a, a dessert with bananas so that's all. If you have any questions, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and I'll do more. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. And if you want to subscribe, please subscribe to my channel for, to see more videos like this. And in the other areas, so natural living, the divine feminine and all that. So thanks for watching.